Most people on the planet today are not living in the present. They're certainly not living in the future. They are stuck in the resentments, the bitterness, the pain, the frustration, the disappointments of the past. You know, there are so many people on the planet and they're really operating from the past. And here's what I mean. Something happened to them when they were little kids. They were told not to dream too big. They were told to dress like everyone else. They had a dream and the dream failed. They, or maybe you were a teenager and there was someone that you loved and you got rejected. Or maybe you were 22 and you started a business and you failed in that business. And now it's 10 years later or 20 years later or 50, 40 years later and you're still living in the past. I want you to really think about this. You know, most people on the planet today are not living in the present. They're certainly not living in the future. They are stuck in the resentments, the bitterness, the pain, the frustration, the disappointments of the past. And it could be a month ago, it could be 20 or 30 years ago. And if you don't work through what happened in your past, you are resigned to spend the rest of your future stuck in the past. If you want to play at mastery in your craft, you want to play at mastery in your thinking, you want to play at mastery in your performance, you want to play at mastery in your income, you want to play at mastery in your service to humanity, you owe it to yourself and the best within you and the talent that resides within you to do the work required to let go of the past. I don't know what it's going to look like for you. It could be meditation, it could be journaling, it could be prayer could be working with a healer, could be working with a mentor, could be affirmations, could be visualization, could be reading the books of the A players so that their thinking infuses and hypnotizes and recodes your neurobiology. But you owe it to yourself to release the past so you can free yourself from the things that happened that disappointed you and move into a bold and brilliant and gorgeous future. Please do not let a stained past deny your spotless future. Let me wrap up this episode with four quick other tactics to help you pivot. The first one is move. So you don't get the big sale, feel the disappointment. Maybe it's anger, you feel a little bit of anger. So feel it versus expressing it. Uh, but get up and move, go for a run, go for a workout. I love just going for uh, a nature walk. It could be a walk around the block, but as you get the blood flowing, oxygen moving through you, serotonin and dopamine and norepinephrine, cortisol, the fear hormones going to move, get lower. I mean, this is just the neurobiology of mastery that'll come to you just by moving. Secondly, negative visualization. Uh, you know, you, you, you've probably heard about positive visualization. See yourself as the way you want to perform. What I'm suggesting to you is just take five minutes and run a mental picture of how bad it could be. So let's say you lose the sale. Let's say you had some gear to bring and you're uh, in the audio visual field and you, you forgot to bring a piece of gear or something like that and you're feeling frustrated because you're a world-class player and you don't want to disappoint anyone. Well, Feel that disappointment, but then here's the thing. Ask yourself, in terms of a negative visualization, how could this be worse? Oh, well, I could have, I mean, someone could have been ill. Uh, you can ask yourself this question, is, has anyone died here? You can ask yourself this question, will this matter a month from now? You can ask yourself, are there people on the planet that have it much worse than me today? That is a powerful negative visualization to allow you to get this keyword, which is perspective, which makes you feel better. And then finally, self-forgive. We are so hard on ourselves. Ultimately, life is a very short ride. If you make a mistake, if you stumble, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Learn how to forgive yourself. No one's perfect. We all make mistakes. Learning to self-forgive, learning to say, you know, I made this mistake, maybe in the past, maybe yesterday, maybe today, but I'll learn from it. You know, we all make mistakes. Every single person does the best that we can do based on where we are on our life's journey. And as you know better, you can do better, to use the words of Maya Angelou. So I hope this episode will help you personally, professionally, spiritually, physically, 
uh, etc. And I want to thank you so much for being with me in this episode.